Hello everyone and welcome back to the finals of the 2024 PK Scramble Tournament. I'm Jay Tolmar and I'm being co-commentated with by Coolball. How are you doing, Cool? I'm doing cool. How are you, Tomar? Cool. I'm good. I'm thinking that the way that I phrased that was just like a space alien talking, but I am so excited about this race that maybe I'm just going to fumble over my words. Ew. So yeah, this is going to be good. Uh, these are both very, very good runners. So this is the finals. Um, we might have one more match, the final finals, depending on who wins. Um, for anyone who hasn't been following along the whole time, this was a double elimination tournament. Uh, Sarah came in out of our danger bracket and Chargles is undefeated, which means that if Sarah wins, then Chargles will need to be double eliminated and we'll get that second run through. If Chargles wins, that's it. He just wins. Uh, it looks like we're starting in like now. So everyone yes. tune in, buckle in. It's going to be fun. Ah, yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> Uh, there was a little um, shout out to you in Charles's Charles's favorite thing, Tolmax. Tolmax. That's, that's your new nickname. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> um, Sarah, right off the bat, having for some reason the palette shuffle on those dog backgrounds can just be a mess. Um, I can throw you off here. Yeah. Right, Saturn so, Valley is the first teleport. Mm -hmm. And then we have teleport anywhere um flag on as well as bear mode do you want to explain what that one is yeah of course so as you probably all know um the meta in earthbound is just spamming psi because it does fixed damage and uh tends to just be better so an old attempt to try to even that out was well, let's just give all the enemies less defense so that your um basic attacks do more and then however much that goes down, we're going to increase their offense and HP so that, you know, the fixed damage stuff's not as good because they have more HP and you need defense items because they have more offense. It ended up just being a little bit harder than standard. So this is just a kind of a rough enemies flag where your basic attacks do more damage. Mm. Um, oh, I, I actually didn't realize that was the way that it worked. <laughs> I oh, <was> just... yeah. <laughs> but that's neat. Yeah, um, it makes every enemy a little more bear-like. You know, they're just... Bears are known for HP and offense and not defense. So... Bear. bear. Um, yeah. So, that's neat. And then, what's the... The third flag is... So we have bear shuffle. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, which is in a lot of tension with bear mode, because extended PSI shuffle tends to just make your PSI better. Uh, yes. For anyone who's missed out on how that works, it takes all of your PSI and shuffles who learns what. But because it's extended PSI shuffle, it includes the uh, Jeff items as PSI. So uh, you guys saw last seed that we had PSI rocket. That is the bottle rocket as a PSI. If we ever found Jeff, maybe he would have had a flamethrower because nobody had that as a PSI. Or a freeze balloon, one of my personal favorites. Heck yeah. Or an um, ice balloon as they're called, yeah, ice balloon. Ice balloon as freeze. Um, there's a lot of kind of dubious synonyms in there. Turns out you need a lot of names when you start doing that. <laughs> yeah, all right, we've already got Paula, so that's a auspicious start. Um, I always like having an early kid check. It makes the game quite a lot easier to navigate. Yep, and Charles having two, picking up two repels in those little takeout boxes. Yeah, you always like to see them, though. Early in the game, they just kind of take up space because they're too good to throw away, but you also want to save them for the end. Key to the shack already. Wow. Oh. I wonder if this one will be... I don't think I don't think it'll be as fast. That was like that was almost remarkable. a record. Yeah, yeah, 35 minutes. So usually when we do the weekly races for anybody who's not in the community, I'd say they are about an hour, right? An hour. Yeah, I would, I would say that typically the winner is just under an hour, and most of the pack is about an hour to hour ten. Like the people who try to race it, we have people at all sorts of times. It's very cool that we have people who aren't really in it for the competitive side or just new um, posting times, like two hours or more. Um, but yeah, the people who are like, you know, the tryhards, the people who show up at tournaments <laughs> are around an hour. 
Yeah, if you like Earthbound, you should you should come join the weekly sometime because it's a very fun group. Yeah, highly recommend the weekly. It's a lot of fun. I will say that this week's weekly turned out to be kind of the meanest one we've had. It's just really nasty logic. Um, <laughs> but those roll over every Thursday night, so we'll have a new one by the time you happen to stop by. So, yeah, stop on Join by tomorrow. The- <laughs> yeah, join, yeah, join tomorrow. Uh, join the Earthbound Speedruns Discord and have fun with the weekly with us. Um, speaking of Earthbound Speedruns, there's also the Ancient Cave tournament. So this is PK Scramble, it's the key item randomizer, but there is also Ancient Cave, a completely different randomizer by a completely different person, um, mm-hmm. which is a much more combat and exploration focused thing. It's a extensive door shuffle that turns the entire game into one giant maze. It's pretty cool, it's pretty mind-bending, it's significantly harder than PK Scramble, um, and they are still in the qualifiers now, so watch out for that. If you want to get in on it, it's still time to do it. Oh my gosh, Charles, what is going on? This is... I always found this to be one of the hardest bosses. It's kind of funny, because sometimes it's easy, but it's just got everything a hard boss can have. Oh yeah, healing Omega, bringing back just random other starmen, and just spamming nasty, horrible. Oh, oh you got it. <laughs> got it. That Let's was see how it worked for Sarah. So, um, in our racing settings, the attack scripts of bosses are unshuffled, so both runners will get the same thing. But there's a lot of other RNG in this, so we just saw uh, Star Deluxe called for help and no one came. Uh, so Sarah just had a much easier time, just kind of by luck. Yes. I think that was first saying Pebble. Yeah, I, I, I'm not positive, but... I believe it. Um, so when you go up to the sanctuary, the boss will say this is the first sank or second sank or something. Um, and that does mean what order they're in, in terms of where they are in the scaling logic. But first sank one seed is not necessarily the same as first sank another seed. Like, if you just have to do a bunch of stuff, or more particularly, if the logic thinks it has to do a bunch of stuff before doing that sanctuary, it can be much later or much earlier, um, just depending on how that works. Bomb taking care of that. Yes, man. Yeah, bomb is one of the extended PSI shuffle goodies. Um, I love Bomb. Yeah, Bomb's Bomb's great. Um, Bomb and Rocket both have been nerfed quite a few times, and they're still the best ones. Turns out that they just end up really good when you do that, and all of the assists end up really good when they become Jeff items. Oh yeah, (laughs) Derek's right. The little pile of puke hiding behind that tree. Um, shout out to Jer- Derek GNC, by the way, in the chat. Um, he is our streamer tonight, restreamer. He's awesome. He actually yeah. streams on YouTube. So thank you, Derek. You're the man. Yeah, Derek um, has done a ton of work for restreaming for VK Scramble this entire season. And it's been great having him along. Yes. All right, looks like Sarah's teleporting right out. I didn't see what the item is. Um, kind of interesting to teleport out of there, unless you're like sure you don't need it, or it's the key to the shack and you're coming back later. But I know it's not that, so I don't know. Oh, diamond. Hmm. A diamond, interesting. Yeah, if you don't end up having four signs, then skipping that check is faster. Uh, I am always just paranoid that I'm going to forget that I have it. Though, this is the finals. You got to just trust in yourself and take that risk, I guess. Higher strats tonight. Yeah. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of just going for it because, you know, you can't trust on your opponent making any mistakes. Uh, there is not, but we are happy to just tell you the run parameters. So for anyone who's not familiar, this is PK Scramble. It's a, a Earthbound Key Item Randomizer. Uh, key Item Randomizer means that the key items are randomized, so the item on the meteorite could be the Franklin Badge, or the item in the um, pyramid where the Hawkeye should be could also be the Franklin Badge, but not at the same time. They're shuffled. Um, 
Also, the kid join locations are shuffled, and a bunch of plot NPCs give you random teleports. So early on, they had Buzz Buzz taught them how to teleport to Seven Valley. Um, and it's specific plot NPCs. It's easy to learn which ones they are. With all of that, they have to beat four sanctuary locations and then face Gygus or five sanctuary locations, which will unlock Magic Ant, and they can then do Magic Ant. Or, and this is very rare, it's like one in 30 seeds that this is even like a useful play. You can just do six sanctuaries and you'll instantly win. Um, so that's like the base set of stuff. Um, and then on top of that, each of these runners chose two extra flags to do. They both chose teleport anywhere, which means that you can teleport from any location, um, not starting to any location, it's from any location. Um, Chargles chose bear mode, which means that the enemies have more HP and offense and less defense. And Sarah chose extended PSI shuffle, which I think we've mentioned a couple of times before, but it means um, you can have PSI rocket and Jeff can have a flamethrower. All the yeah PSI and Jeff equipment attacks are all shuffled around in a very fun way. Oh, I'm seeing in chat that while I was in the explaining everything trance that Sarah teleported away from the uh, shop guard, did we get the funny animation when you do that? Or is that a different guard I was talking about? I I missed it. Yeah. <laughs> um, the typical run length of this is one hour, though these are like tournament runners, so expect less. Yeah, the last um, uh, we had one seed previous to this, and I it was around thirty five minutes, which yeah. is. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you should not that fast. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we got like a 45 minute or 50 minute seed. Again, this is the tournament finals. These two are very, very fast. Um, and they are, you know, trying very hard. Um, but even with people being very, very good, uh, 35 minutes is quite unusual. People in chat are talking about some weird edge case I've never heard of before. Um, so for anyone who didn't know, I developed this randomizer, but um, there's still plenty of bugs. Uh, it turns out that Earthbound is held together with a string and duct tape, and though I've patched many of them, <laughs> I'm still repeatedly surprised by some of the things that this game does under exceptional or even not particularly exceptional circumstances. Um, during the last week's so weekly, we had three different runners run into a glitch where like half the party started just morphing into other sprites for a while. I have no idea what causes that. Uh, it's very strange that three people had it at once. Yeah, we found a lot of weird things in PK Scramble, huh? Oh yeah. Um, my favorite though is a vanilla bug that is now used in one of the speed speedrun strats. Um, we called it the Scramble Grits because it was found in Scramble. Um, you can equip any item as an equipment. Some of them end up in different slots. Um, but now the photo percent route equips a... Um, was it Water Bottle DX? DX Water? Bottle DX Water. That's how it's phrased. Um, as Jeff's Pendant because it has the same stats as the Rabbit's Foot. This is so crazy. Such a weird story. Oh Ooh, my goodness, that the tornado is something. Mean. Yeah, so the tornado attack actually is a strong physical attack to everyone. So unlike most hit everyone attacks, that actually is buffed by bear mode, increasing everything's physical offense. So yeah, Kraken's a little scary there. Looks like Sarah's getting pickled. Oh, get your pickles in chat. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yeah, that activates when you beat Belch Base. It can be easy to forget. Um, so it's not there to start. Most of the um, photo triggers have been removed from PK Scramble, but it was just... Um, I just set the this photo's already been taken flag for all of them, and whatever photos that set are out, and a handful of them still manage to sneak back in because the way that the photo system in this works is very strange. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought you were just trolling people who... Uh... Nah, well, eventually I'll figure out, like, if I ever really want to spend time on it, I'll actually get rid of all of them and then put one at random somewhere along the required route. Oh, that's... That's cool. That would be... So yeah, every, that's... every seat you just have a trip, yeah. you just have to carefully... Yeah, every seat you just get one, but you never know where it is, so... <laughs> that would be awesome. I completely lost track of the logic. Looks like Sarah's preparing for a um, apple kid check because she just bought him a sprig of parsley to eat. Pencil eraser. Looks like we're going to Happy Happy Village after maybe fighting this boogie tent. I think Happy. Sarah's technically ahead here. I mean, she finished Milky Well, um, whereas Charles has not done that yet. So they've both done. Giant step. Charles took a death to the boogie tent slot, which was cracking. Looks like Sarah's got her meme phone call. Let's find out oh. what it is. Is it parsnips? It's not parsnips. Parsley. I had parsnips for dinner tonight. Oh, I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> Parsley. Mm. <laughs> I haven't had a parsnip in a while. Parsnips. I love parsnips. Um. I call it planting my garden this week. I should plant some parsnips. Mm hmm. All right, moving on to the Berglin checks. It looks like uh, Charcoal's is having a bit of a tough time with this tent boss. Yeah, this. Oh, 333. Oh, yeah. He's only hitting for 12. It's... Sure. I saw that Sarah actually used the fact that condiments work on rock candy to increase Paula's stats. Though I think it sets it to a specific stat, doesn't it? So if you know which one it is, you could have got Vitality on it. Is that even how that works? Oh, you know what? That's a really good uh, trivia, and I didn't realize that. Because if you do the sugar in the rock candy, can't you like keep using the rock candy over and over? Um, you can, if it's at the end of your inventory, it doesn't do the thing, and you can use it over and over again. And as Pebble points out in the chat, uh, Paula's mom gave Sarah Dragonite? And that's what? great. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you <laughs> show Paula to Paula's mom, she gives you an item, um, and it looks through what's remaining in the item pool, like, through the item logic, and tries to give you a revive item, and if it can't find one, it tries to give you a cool item. Um, and Dragonite is considered to be a cool item, so there you go. I'd say... Hawkeye. Yeah, Hawkeye. Me. Hawkeye. I mean, I always like if it's actually in play, but it's pretty unlikely. Um, I ran stats on how likely all the checks are to show up in a standard race, and... The um, Tender Village is the lowest at 5% of seeds going there. Wow. Yeah. That's it, uh, huh? Now, obviously, once you see the Hawkeye, the amount does go up, but it's still pretty rare. Chargle's doing some shopping, which is a little bit uncharacteristic and yeah, that, he I think even, but that's a good shop so yeah even Chargles respects that shop um so the way that that shop works um that and the bakery in Berglund Park for scramble only require you to beat average red first um and that ends up with them having a different item level than the Tucson department store that's why it's that way um, but because that boss is frequently just, like, way harder than everything around it, those shops end up being way higher than everything around it. So they have a good tendency to be quite good stuff. Of course, quite good bakery items are no longer relevant now that you can't buy Repel Sandwiches. 
So it's really just the first one. Mm. Way back in the day, the bakery shop was actually why you'd want to do that, because it would be like your best chance at a repel DX. Interesting, that was that was before my time. <laughs> so I didn't know that. Um I see Sarah chose the autumn window flavor for some reason. Yeah, I mean, all the season flavors are great. I'm not just biased because I made them. I think they are just some of the better window flavors. Oh, I would I would agree. Yeah, they're some of my favorite. I love how the equip button is like a pumpkin. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, and then uh, Charles has rocker green flavor, I believe. Oh, yeah, that was made by uh, Pink Panther, a member of the community. Shows up sometimes. All right, and zombie paper. Zombie paper and burb. Didn't they already have Saturn Valley, or am I suffering from seed bleed? They, they no, they yeah. had Saturn Valley because that's the sanctuary that Sarah is. She's up by that sanctuary, so. Uh, there you go. I bet you she's gonna go to Lilliput's. Oh nope. Oh, damn them. The lamb. So we saw a flying man in that cave. Uh, flying man counts as one of the kid checks. It's kind of unlikely that we're going to see him because they already found him and didn't have the item. But if they find the cabin key like immediately, it's pretty likely to go pick him up because even though he's like not logically needed for anything, he's really, really strong and tends to speed stuff up enough that you still want him. As long as you're not too close to the Gygus fight, right? Oh, yeah. Um, you actually kind of want Flying Man to fall over before fighting Gygus. He's very unhelpful for that fight. Um, but typically, something will explode on him by that time. All right. Sarah had to go back and pick up that item she neglected. Losing, like, four seconds. And we get to take the bus. Yes. Taking the bus all the way is two seconds faster than walking. Write it down, folks. You're going to need to know that someday. It'll be on the quiz. <laughs> yeah. on someday the I'd like to speed those up, but cutscenes are hard. <laughs> I don't think Sarah did Lilliput. I don't think she did either. So now they're going to be even after this. Maybe she's kind of like, oh, bear mode, you know, maybe put it off a little bit. Yeah, avoid those literal bears. Like, they might yeah. be kind of spicy on the bear mode. Bear. Yep. Bear. There's one right there. Oh, Mad Cat's here. Hey, Mad Cat. Mm, combat yo-yo. Okay. Fourth. Ooh. Ooh. I guess Sarah had a read. What about Charles? That. Yeah. Uh, first race was 35 minutes. So, it was fast. It was extremely fast. Ooh, that is a tough mole. That was a bearish mole. Ugh. Wow, 372 damage. Yikes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is... Those are some numbers. Looks like Jargles is gonna sit here and wait for his HP to roll up. You don't normally see that in a scramble. And it Whoa. was the right play. I got him through the end. Monkey invitation for Sarah. Thanks, Venus. You love to see it, folks. You love to yeah. see it. <laughs> One of the least beloved checks in PK Scramble. Personally, I think it's kind of fun. Yeah, I don't think it's that bad, but... 
I think we're in the minority. <laughs> yeah, I think we're in the minority. Um, they already have the um, pencil eraser, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that's just completely in play. I would just do it. It's a good check. Like, you get a teleport and an item. But first, we're going to fight Kraken. Um, this was a problem for the Chargles, because the tornado is a physical attack. Um, if any of the kids have paralysis, then um, Kraken is like 50% susceptible. So, it is a way to shut it down. Looks like Sarah is choosing to. Oh, okay, you get a picnic lunch to heal. Oh, just gets through. Whoa! There you go. <laughs> they both just had some pretty clutch bosses just now. Right oh, the bench. nice item. Nice item. I always like to see it. The seed's actually quite open at this point. It's kind of hard to pick what to do. Mm -hmm. Is Sarah just going to go for the hint? No, she's going to go from inside. Freeze bomb. I think I saw a flash grenade in there. Yep, flash grenade, freeze bomb. Yeah, pretty good items. Right now, the harsh mm. part of the seed, getting out behind the crowd. Oh, that was an easy one. Oh, yeah. It actually helps getting a out. lot if you have a longer party. It's like, if your tail is long enough, then it kind of jams the way open to stay open. <laughs> yes. The two shopping ladies are just like... Uh, they're like linebackers. Basically li linebackers. Yeah, they're basically linebackers. I'm keeping you in that alley. Mining for carrot keys. Well, we have access to Delon, but that's a long check. Yeah, it's probably still worth it, but don't have to do it immediately. It looks like Jargo's doing it immediately. Um, so this is going to be an abridged mole cave. So anyone who has mole cave completely memorized, you may find that's not quite how you remember. It is 60% as long as normal. And Jargo finds his meme call. Um, this is more or less guaranteed to happen at some point during the seed, and we make fun of the runners if they don't put in a little bit of effort to, uh, wow. <laughs> Charles oh, putting in, uh... Charles, that was so cold! Dude, poor Tony. Tony is... Poor Tony. Poor Tony! Look, he was just a sexually frustrated kid, okay? Oh, goodness. Oh, poor Tony. <laughs> I like how, like, you leave the um, boarding school and Tony doesn't say a thing. He just kneels down so you can stand on his back and jump over the thing. And it's like, okay, I don't even have to explain this. It's just what you do. You are a footstool man. I know. And yeah. Well, yeah. Keeping it PG here, folks. Yeah, let's let's turn it down. Time. So we found Mr. Carpenter in the <laughs> slot where the Money Money statue usually is. If anybody does watch Ancient Caves, by the way, the the next tournament coming up, there's all sorts of fun sprites. I just was thinking about that. Anyway. Oh yeah, the. So in Pika Scramble, you only get funny enemy names if you turn on generated enemies. In Ancient Cave, it's just, uh, yeah, you're always going to get funny it's a free -for -all. funny yes. sprites, yeah. You'll see, like, the, the Tony sprite just, like, randomly, like, on the side of the road. <laughs> He's just, just like, yeah. there. <laughs> but the sprite shuffle in Ancient Cave is so much more aggro than Scrambles. Scramble doesn't even normally have sprite shuffle turned on, and if you do, it's so much more buttoned up than what Ancient Cave does. Ancient Cave is happy to just have, like, the, uh, the rainy circle sprites will just be whatever, not yeah. random. Yep. Oh my gosh, Tony is footstool coated. Pebble, yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so true. Alright, we've shroomed up the nest. Um, yeah, this cave is actually long enough that it's going to be a problem. Uh, fun fact this boss is almost on the unsafe bosses list for exactly this reason. Because it is kind of a pain if everybody gets shroomed up through all of Mole Cave. Yeah, this is, that's one of those bosses where you just feel like 
the game is sentient and just like knows who and when to mushroom. Oh yeah, that'd be kind of fun to just uh, go ahead and program that in. Program what in? Oh, who and when to mushroom? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And in the carpenter slot, we have a heavily armed Pokey. The paralysis stuck, so this is now a very easy fight. Um, but Pokey's here! So, everyone, think about that. We're gonna have to figure out who's going to be Gygus' assistant, because it's not this kid. He said Shroom almost was... It was on, on the short list for being considered unsafe, but ultimately, just Diamond Dog and... Um, this is nightmare. nightmare. Made yeah. it. And so unsafe, we... unsafe is Gygus' assistant and Mole Cave. Those are the two slots the unsafe bosses aren't allowed in. Um, so you'll never see Diamond Dog down here either, um, unless you turn off unsafe bosses and then get unlucky. Chat is footstool pilled. All right, chat. <laughs> winter's maxing. That's not really the right season to be winter's maxing. It's uh, gonna have to go to the other place. We got the carrot key while you're distracting the plants. I don't think those are plants, Mr. Gerard Montague. Should uh, learn the difference between plants and mushrooms. Thank you. I almost forgot that purple healer guy was there. Oh yeah, there was an attorney seed recently where someone forgot that and had a rough time, wasn't there? Um, I think someone, it wasn't the mushroom, it was some other sad effect. Someone went the long way to go pick up. So it looks like Charles is gonna... Oh wow, there's a repel sandwich and a viper from that Mr. Satin. Heck yeah, that's nice. Cherokee, Monkey Well, and that's it. So they're neck and neck right now because Sarah's on the a little put. <clears throat> She's one sink ahead, but more, um, or yeah, she'll she'll be evened up. Or she will be one sink ahead after defeating this mole. So oh yeah, but Charles is in a lower level and shorter sink, so it should be pretty close. Oh, flashier grenade just insta killed the boss. Whoa! Love to see it. Um, yeah, so flashier Major grenade is the uh, second tier of the bottle rocket slot flash items, and second tier is gamma level. So that's a one in four chance to just insta kill something. Wow. Oh, and Sarah has not gotten... You know what? I mi I was caught up in the mole cave, and I didn't see if she finished Moonside. You were caught not. up in the mole mint? It... <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I also completely missed the end of Moonside, but I'm going to bet it's literally this item that she's turning in right now. Chat, help us out. Oh, yeah. Signed banana. To our creepy stalker friend. Heck yeah. I was watching someone play vanilla and saw them get into this sewer. I was like, wow, this sewer is so slow. Oh my gosh, it's it's almost unbearable. After playing Scramble, it's so slow. Yeah, that's my secret plot to get all the speedrunners to just be addicted to the Scramble, is to just speed up the sewer. Because <laughs> you can't even teleport like you can through like deep darkness, you know? Oh yeah, oh, and this seed you can teleport through here too, so even if it was slow, you can uh, just zoom on through that sewer. I'd actually be worried, if I was teleporting through the sewer, I'd be worried that I would just teleport too far. It's very, like, straight. Uh, Derek and Chad asking if we can make it so every battle makes the party move 10% faster. Actually, the most brutal part of this game is the wall collision. If you're familiar with the speedruns, there's plenty of times you just walk right through a wall. If you went any faster than what Skip Sandwich does, 
it just completely falls apart. Um, so yeah, we can't, we can't make the bowl go faster. Oh darn. It'd be like, you know when they're like, ants, but it gets like 5% faster every time they say ants. Oh yeah. A good way to watch that. Uh, Sarah's fighting Starman Jr. and has his one weakness, PSI Rocket, and it's still taking quite a bit of a beating. Um, so anyone, first time it's... scramblers tend to be like, oh, this is Starman Jr., he's a joke. And then you realize that normally you just have Buzz Buzz beating this guy for you, and he's actually very scary and has like 95% resistance to all the elements for some reason. But Sarah gets through. Both of their so... sanctuaries are pink. Rocket and bomb. Oh yeah, well would Rocket is actually be... particularly good, um, because he's actually very slow and Rocket's a speed check. Oh, okay. What was that teleport, Chargles? I just saw Absorb the Land for Sarah. Did Chargles get it or are they is he like one whole sank behind? I think, no, he did as well, yep. Oh yeah, there you go, this is the third Saturn, so... They are real tied up. No good pendants here, the flame pendant, more like lame pendant. Uh. Um, not what you want to see. So, Gygus' attacks, for anyone unfamiliar, are actually uh, flash, thunder, and a freeze that hits everyone. So, you, in Scramble specifically, you really want that freeze resistant because the flash has been kind of nerfed. Wow, super tied. This is so cool. Yeah, they're like um, making the same shop. Sarah's the first out, but I think it's because she did less prep. Took tis, um, you know, Sarah, our racer on the right side of the screen, is so committed to the Saturn Valley font that she has it for her live split. So, oh. if that's if that's saying anything, I'm kind of surprised that Sarah's not checking the um, Star Master there. Like if that was Lost Underworld, I would take that. What do they ever do, Lost Underworld? Chargos checks it. Winters. Mm. Yeah. I think it's worth checking. I don't think it's worth going to Winters for. All right, and we've just done the robotomy cutscene, which means that we need to guess who is going to be the assistant. We already oh saw Heavenly Hound Loki, so it's going to be someone else. I think it's Frank. I think it's Frank, too. Yeah. Frank. yeah. Or, you know what? Titanic Ant. I'm going to do... Ooh, I never think of Titanic Ant. Thank you, Mad Cat. I stole that pun from the music editor, which has every song in the game, including, like, the sound effect songs named, and that one's named Robotomy. So you might notice that there's no um, spawns on Sarah's side. Throughout the seed, they've been picking up an item called a Repel Sandwich. It replaces the Skip Sandwich because they have Skip Sandwich movement speed all the time, and that sandwich needs to do something, and it just turns off the spawns. Ooh, rock candy. Is Sarah gonna bother using it? It's probably not worth the time. Oh my gosh. This is... This is... This is so close. So close! What the heck? Ah, and the stakes are high the because... The stakes are high, yeah. The... Sarah pulls this off, then we go to a round three, which... I personally Ooh. want so yeah i definitely want to see the round three um, okay we're both in the entrails at the same time <laughs> the entrails the end trail of the game who's it gonna be it's a mole <laughs> Another mole! I'm bringing the mole. I actually love moles, so I was probably oh, yeah. bringing the mole energy. Now, are these runners going to be able to keep up the mole momentum and get through this fight, or will this be uh, a mole hole in the way of mole hill? 
I don't have the second pun, maybe. I thought I'd come up with it before I said it, but nope, it <laughs> just didn't materialize. So, uh, I guess that's Starstorm Iota. Uh, kind of a funny thing with the um, Pizza Shuffles is because Gygus has whatever Rockin' is, and Rockin' because something else, um, and Gygus ends up with some other thing as well. Uh, the name's not always right when it's kind of the weird cases like Starstorm. Yeah, looks like a uh, kind of a rough fight. Mondo is paralyzed, but they're just still stuck in here with Gygus. Ooh, Charles says really in the rough position. Someone confused Gygus on the Sarah side? That's real risky. I think she did brain shocked. Oh, and Chargles is the first one through, but his oh, Sarah is right behind, and she's got a better, like everyone still being up. Thank you, Nano. Good to remember. No. Um, <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, forfeit. Uh, because he only had. Yeah. Darn it. Yeah. So Chargles is in a bit of a pickle. If uh, Sarah takes a wipe, it's still a game. This is a very rough fight we've already seen, so that's quite possible. Um, but. Yeah, it's Sarah's, uh, Sarah's race to lose. We might be going to that game three. Now, if we go to game three, it's going to be the same flags, but cursed enemies won. So that's also exciting. Oh, yeah, that's a little spicy. There's a little bit of extra spice when everyone's tired. Yep, RNG had other plans. See, this Ooh, the game is sentient. It just it wants us to go through. I love, love this shade of Gygus. Gygus, yeah. that shade looks beautiful on you. Very grapey. Bubblegum monkey prayed for Jeff and his friends. And bubblegum monkey's what? And brick road. And the bubblegum lady salesman <laughs> person lady. <laughs> The monkey salesman? <laughs> or I guess, no, she's... Uh, the the bubblegum saleswoman. Bubble that lady. Sales the one who has no business sense. Oh, Sarah's still got a viper in that inventory. It's a little late to use that. Ooh. Ness down. The ran boobs prayed for Ness and his friends. Oh, the ran boobs. The ran boobs? They're weird. I don't know what they are. <laughs> Their prayers could be insincere. Do Ram Boobs strike you as insincere? Yeah. Yes. They're like smirking. They're definitely yeah. insincere. <laughs> Alright, and Sarah's got the brain shock off on the final phase of Gygus. So this should be a little safer, though that is just a 50 50 every round. Just could come up tails every round. Fruit Kids, pray for Jeff and his friends. Kids. Booze Master? Yeah, I think Sarah stabilized this. Looking pretty good. Uh, double numb from the flash on Gygus. And some people led on at library, prayed for Ness's friends. So that paralysis doesn't do anything unless things get sketchy. Oh yeah, Sarah's not even taking chances, just gonna use a secret herb. Um, I've got some very heads up play. Um, like Paula doesn't need to be able to move her limbs to pray, but she does to revive Ness if things go wrong.
That's it. That's, That's it. a wrap. Wow, we're going. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Um, so neither of them know this yet, so we will refrain from posting in the chat, but I'm going to go roll up on the uh, next seed. So, uh, hold down the fort. Cool. Okay, we will do. Oops, I already posted in the chat. I just got excited. I, I did it on the last seed, that's why I was like, oh, I shouldn't do this. They were both, like, nervous that we were talking about the new seed because the other one had won. <laughs> <sighs> Man, guy gets really given the charcoals of business on the left hand side. And Sarah is two for two. Can she be three for three and sweep? A Sarah this sweep. Turn? A Sarah sweep. Why can't I find the cursed enemies selling? There it is. All right, GG, Sarah, we're going on to that game three. Let's uh, load up the flag. Forty-five minutes seat, not not bad. Yeah, that's. It's not the seed that we just had, but this is still like way faster than a typical seed. Exactly. It's it's the top runners under pressure. It's going to be very fast. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Charcoals. How are you doing? W was I in good position before the the numb lock in phase two? Yeah, you were like at the exact same time. Um, Sarah was oh. seconds behind you into the fight, but had a better position. Yeah, I couldn't find the road. I didn't know where the OKs were, and I thought, screw it, I'm going in anyways. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, she did some brain shock strats to uh, get to phase, phase one. Wonder. Okay, phase yeah, one. I, I should have, I suppose. Um, you know, really, phase one wasn't an issue my first time through. But, um, it left me just one kid alive, but oh well. This is uh, this is what the crowd wanted the whole time, right? Oh yeah. It's a... Like, no matter who's running, we still want to go to game three. And the plus side, like it's only ten thirty local time, so this is this is no big deal at all. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get them a new seed to run and get them set up to go again. Uh, I think probably should give the runners a few minutes to uh, calm down. Party drink. Maybe. That one. That one hurt. That that numb. As soon as it happened, I just that hurt. Yeah. Um, bear, bear mode hits a lot. I forgot about that. You picked it. Rough. I I know. I I thought it would hurt her more than it hurt me, and I think it hurt me more. And it's curse one next seed. Charles, yeah, don't forget. Worse. Did 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 Sarah try the boogie tent? Yeah, she'd be the first try. What? How? <laughs> she was. She, she did it later. Than she you. went later. She went a lot later than you did. What, but it had was... the Franklin badge. It had the Franklin badge. Oh, so, so thunder! I... Thunder would have hit like a ton of bricks anyways in Gigas, Yeah. Yep. Okay, well, I don't feel too bad about that one then. I would have, uh, I would have stumbled through phase two or three if I would have uh, gotten through that one. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll hop off the chat and let you all do your thing again. But I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs>